Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our R&D series. So in the previous episodes, we've been quite busy constructing this new power, well, hopefully a power production area. We'll see how it's going to go. But uh, yeah, I can already feel that uh, there's going to be a lot of useful comments coming uh, coming our way about this design. And uh, I, I, I share the pain. I feel like maybe, uh, maybe, it, well, maybe we should have done it in this area. But hey, um, we'll make it work. With your help, we're gonna figure this out and we're gonna make it work. So a couple of things I uh, let's uh, we'll get out of the way before we dive into into building this. What I've noticed is during the wet season, we're actually how how do you say this? It seems there's more water that comes from the water source than we can hold in the reservoirs, and it's flowing out of the map. That's, uh, I guess, in some ways, it's it's good news. But at the same time, it also isn't. We do want it all to be stored on our map. And, I mean, the easy solution is just to uh, create bigger reservoirs. We can, um, you know, deepen maybe even this lake over here. If we, if we wanted to, of course. So that's the one thing. Second thing is that we're going to need a quite a large reservoir here in case our what is it the uh, water production area gets really low on water um it would be easier to have it um i think we'll we can do a three deep reservoir here or like a holding area but uh, at the same time if we have enough water pumps in this area i don't think it's gonna be a too big, big of an issue uh, so i'm not too worried about this to be honest i think we'll have to carve our way around and maybe actually let's see the water source oh so ideally we would have the levee somewhere here. So that means we can uh, use the dynamite quite a bit here, actually. And that's funky. Seems like the water is going around in circles in here. But hey, we're not complaining about that. Let's see. Power supply. Okay, power demand is quite high. So we're going to have to pause some of those buildings here. I don't think we need this many gears. So that can be taken out and let's take a look now supply still lower than our demand i would like to keep the dynamite buildings functioning what is your problem paper oh right we are not producing enough paper it seems so we're gonna have to do something about that as well is the power going through oh problem number two we're gonna have to transfer that power somehow and i think actually that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's take a look underneath. Right, so the entrance is here. We could put a power cable there, but uh, that's not going to help us, is it? Right, we'll figure this out. I'm not too worried just yet. We'll, we'll leave it be. We can even pause this building. Actually, no, have it constructed so I don't accidentally delete it. Uh, and planks will keep running as well. How much metal do we already have? Oh, 69 over there. Almost 70. Yeah, 70 now. Yes, no, I do want to leave it running. I know it's mo not the most efficient, but okay. Oh no, night time. Well, we'll put it on three times speed. So in between episodes, I have asked the beavers to construct as many platforms as we can. And we're also going to build platforms around this way. Because I think we... Hmm... I think we might have to deepen it just a little bit. Now that I think about it, I'm... Mm, I know I said it quite a few times already, but yeah, I really need to slow this down and... Uh, let's see. So, this pool, we want three deep. Right now it's two. So that's... Uh, that's pretty obvious. We can... No, we're gonna have to demolish this as well, unfortunately. And deepen it a little bit. Uh... Why does it feel so painful? But that's okay. We can remove the platforms and do it from top. The same with the side. So I guess the first step really is to start doing it from here. One level. Actually, yeah, everything can go to, down one level. And then we'll do the do the sides here. So if that's going to be the wall, it means we'll have to demolish even more there, actually. Yeah, right. It's going to be a little bit awkward, I suppose, but... Hmm, we'll figure it out. Right, and with these platforms, what we shall do pretty much straight away is we're going to start putting some water pumps here. We want to get rid of as much water as we can. So as soon as those platforms are done, please start constructing uh, the water pumps. 
Right, so the next thing, um, the pathfinding here is not going to be the most efficient. But as soon as we get enough metal, we can improve that. So if you take a quick look, uh, it seems the roads are... Yeah, they're going to be... They're already red here. So they might make it to a couple of those water bumps. But let's see. Once it's done, we just need two more. And while you look at that, they've already put in most of the dynamites as well. So that is, that is fantastic. Just need five more. Okay, so we got the roads in. And it seems they be, will be able to reach all of them. We could also put some platforms along the side here. And have some, um, what are they called? Large water tanks slightly, slightly closer to us. And then we'll have to, well, figure out how we want to build those water dumps here as well yeah this is gonna be quite interesting let's just detonate one of them yeah they're building those okay so that's great just a few more beavers got our first water pump in and then now yeah we're just gonna slowly start sucking out all that water as much as we can all pumps are in now don't even think we are gonna need those i what we'll do is we'll prioritize the pumps on this side first just so we can empty it out as much as possible. Right, are the dynamites in? I think the answer is yes. Ooh, that was that was loud. Maybe I should slow down the time a little bit so it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, that seems better. And I probably made a mistake. I don't think they'll be able to reach those furthest ones. I always forget. You know what? It's okay. So the wall's gonna be here. Let's think it through again. Now. If the stairs need to go up from from here, then we might have to leave this corner bit in. Let's keep this in mind. We'll take out... Oh, same thing in here. Okay. Not ideal, I'll be honest. I guess this could be changed. If we rearrange and get rid of some of those wheels in here. Right, power is now an issue, so unfortunately uh, this one has to be paused. Let's have a look. Supplying 800, demand is still very high. Here wise, maybe pause another one. How about now? Okay, still. Blanks, we do need a lot of blanks, so unfortunately one of those has to be closed. Which I think is okay, because we only have two paper mills anyways. How are we doing now? Still 100 off. Food production, no. We're not gonna close one of those. Here's... I want to keep one open, in case we need it. And blanks... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave it until we can figure it out. On a more positive note, at least we uh, have it now. Three deep here. I think this also means we're gonna have to take out all of this. I know wasted resources but i have a feeling this is a must and can we yeah and then uh once we drain out this water from here then we can change those levees as well uh, especially the middle one i think yeah, that will have to be levees instead and actually same with the side one here we only want plant gates um to let some water into into here actually now that i think about it we might not be placing any um, blood gates here at all because we don't need to control this area we want to have uh, we can have water dumps here instead yeah which means we should have a wall of levees i know it's a lot of levees maybe through here to allow a little bit of water to flow through to the side canal here or the side river and then uh, we'll have a couple of levees here to allow more water into this reservoir whilst the rest can go off to the side okay so that's gonna need some time to really fine-tune this but we have a few dynamites and here they go okay a couple more We'll do them as well, and uh, <laughs> I guess another one. Yeah, it's, it's okay to demolish this. If we made a mistake, then what we'll do is we'll just put levees instead. Let's just speed up the time as well so we get through the 
through the night and let's just check the access how far they can they get okay so how about if we bring this road across we go a little bit further and we want them to go in there so once they build those platforms uh i think we should give you our normal priority as well i think we can also open those water pumps here have them constructed and Let's just delete the lip there, and the rest will will leave for the time being. Okay, quite a quite a challenge here, but uh, if we check the water level, it does appear to be a little lower in on the inside, but it's gonna take quite a bit of time to. I think in the next route we might be able to already see this uh, see this function. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, they are are they emptying emptying the. No, I hope we have some haulers that come and help us out but no the problem is that our we don't have enough water storage right so how about we'll pause these so that way these pumps can keep on running and let's check the access again okay so we might be lucky let's see if we can do the middle ones yeah so what i'll do is i'll play around with the design here actually before we go Ah, uh, it just never gets old. So satisfying. Right, so before we go, what I'm gonna do... Um, I'm gonna figure out how we want this design. And uh, once we've got the blueprint in, I'll be I'll be back to, to show it to all of you as well. Alright, so quick update on the progress. And before we do that... Yeah, that is satisfying. Okay, so um, quickly, let's have a look. Everything below is pretty much the same. Oh, just realized we are running out of water. So let's change those pumps over to, to that side. Right, so I put in a couple of water wheels here. And then up here. Now, this is the part where I'm not sure. Is dropping water directly onto the, onto the water wheel, is that going to be good? Uh, I'm not sure, so we're gonna test it out, see how it uh, how it performs. If not, we're gonna shuffle all of the water water dumps over by one to the left hand side. And um, well, we got 12.9 days until the wet season, but I've also also I think I mentioned before as well. Uh, we we may may have to well we want to move. Um, this whole area over a little bit so lots of dynamites in in this area to make it a little bit more efficient and the main reason i guess is uh, it's not a must actually now that i think about it but i was thinking of having more water dumps that way but now that i do think about it we, we can extend this way as well and just have more water dumps in in this um this area and th yeah that's what i wanted to wanted to show you real quick and um they're still constructing a few things in here. I've got a few water water dumps queued up. And actually, this should be a high priority. And please have all of this done as well. Let's do it this way. And dynamite high. Okay, I think you can be detonated now. We can create a bit more bit more space here. Probably the... Yeah, should we do the same here? Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll lower it down and I think if we have like 10 to 15 water dumps in here and to start with that should be yeah that should be a good starting point at least and then with the rest um, oh yeah we definitely have to move it over by one just to give a bit more space in here so now that I say it actually let's just let's just do it um yeah so I'm gonna carry on we'll try and finish this off and as soon as it is done let me just speed up the time yeah, I think that's when we'll we'll jump back in. We'll boss them. All right. Yep. Let's do that. All right. And we have 0 0.9 days left until the drought is finally over. And uh, yeah, it's taken a very long time. But let me just give you a quick tour over here. Uh, I did change it a little bit up. Um, we moved the wall a bit as well. But essentially, this is where the water comes. It's going to go through the Thames and the Floodgate. It's going to end up uh, in the storage area number one or the holding cell. And then uh, the primary way where, the, where we want the water to go is 
into into this little pool or reservoir here but also to the side where the where the river is once this pool is filled up we can we can close it up and then any sort of overflow will go back into our our lake there now the reason why we have this pool it is to test out um, in case we need to top this up a little bit then we all always have this little little water storage i know it's it's uh not gonna keep us alive for for too long but i thought i would just give it a try now and uh, the second reason why i built this the way it is is uh, initially we had this bigger pool here but i realized okay we don't want the water to sort of uh, mess around in here we want it to go straight down all the way where our uh, wa water wheels are as well so let's do a quick uh, quick test i'll put the beavers in the in the water tumps already and let's see if and how it's gonna work uh, right so it seems like the wheels are spinning a little bit so that's not that's not bad we'll speed it up and see let's see how consistent this is not very but also not too bad it seems we are able to keep uh, keep it going for a little bit and i think i've just jinxed it okay well it seemed to be working but i think what we need is is to ensure that the haulers are always bringing water into the water dumps there and um well once we have a bit more water in here what i think i'll do next is to put a few water storage units in here as well so all we need really is uh, just a few platforms and how many can we fit here mm, maybe we'll have to go sideways i'd like them to still have this road access here i don't want them to go around we could do two well let's have a quick look which way is it gonna be orient oriented so we could do one two two three or one two three Hmm, maybe it's going to be better doing it this way. So one, two, three, and, well, only three, yeah. One, two, and we could do three. Actually, we can do four this way. Oh, uh, but then, <laughs> no, I think it's going to be fine. One, two, three, yep. Okay, let's let's uh, let's give this a try. We'll build those platforms in here, and then we'll let some water to be stored into into these ones as well. Hmm. Well, let's see how it goes. And they should be able to reach, right? Can't really tell. Oh yeah, they go straight through the through the ground. Okay. Well, that's interesting. But well, at least we know the they definitely have the reach. So. So that's good. Right, 0 0.1 days. Do you know what? I think we will want to put some water in here first. So that way these pumps can operate as well. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. And let's give this a high priority. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Now we can see the water. And here it comes. How much water did we spend? To a little over two. This is three in here. Uh, but that's because well i don't know why oh yeah we topped up the river a little bit no let's try and stay in this area let's not get too distracted should have a waterfall any any second now we can see a few of those water wheels already spinning as well a bit of water is starting to go through and it is spreading in all directions but we don't want it to go here first we want it to go elsewhere okay how much water do we have there now quite a bit so why don't we close you up that is not too bad now we just gotta try how can we get it even even higher so let's give this a try we'll increase the flood gates Ooh, is that gonna flood the whole place yeah oh no well let's see what happens first hmm not too confident about this yeah maybe we'll have to lower you we'll let most of most of the water to go go through there that seems to have helped us uh don't take out the district center please 
Oh, that is so close. Okay, now let's have a look. Um, they are starting to... Okay, fill this. I think that's the answer. We, we'll have to redesign a few things here. And to allow maybe a dynamite in here would help because there's two tiles of water coming through but only one being able to pass through here so if we get rid of those two maybe it's gonna help with the all this volume coming through well let's uh let's have a look and who are you guys lumberjack flags now they've got nothing to do so they're, they're helping to to carry some water around as well and in here seems some water is being dropped down However, only a couple of wheels are spinning. Uh, let's detonate you as well. And we still need one more, I believe. Yep. Okay. And they're not drowning yet. So that's good, I suppose. Yeah, that water is not moving at all. Well, that's why, if you remember from one of the previous episodes, initially I did say that I'd like the the second area to be a little bit lower. But we didn't do it just yet because... Um, this might not uh, be the final area where the bumps are going to be. So we might move them over here, over here in the future instead. And then, you know, redesign this whole area. More flow is needed for sure. If we could have a couple more bumps working, I just wonder if we will be able to bump all that water out in time. That's what I'm not sure about. Okay, we'll take you out as well. And the last thing we need to do is we need to bring that power up. And the best way to do it is a couple of houses, I suppose. That will do. And that should pass the power through. And then we can we can see uh, network's power supply. Okay, so only one is spinning. Right. We are going to need another three pumps operational. But how about, how about we try and squeeze a few more pumps in here? How did we build this? Okay, so triple and then one. Gotcha. Yeah, we can do a, a few more. So yeah, let's put them two in here, two in here. I'd much prefer to let this all this water to flow out into the reservoir and then have the pumps in here that will supply everything. I think we'll have a couple so it's closer to the water dumps for sure. Maybe maybe in here would be good and then let the water flow flow through somewhere else. And it seems we can store about two tiles of water there. Okay, so we shall... Oh yeah, we can't raise it to three. Or can we? If we do this, put in on one again. Let's see what happens now. Oh, is this gonna flood? Uh, let's see. I feel it's gonna... No, it's gonna equalize. Might work. We'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, this might be perfect. Oh, okay. So we can store in a three, and that was that was right. We just needed to provide a, an extra tile to avoid the uh, the flooding. Now, fix this over here. We'll force these houses as well, so we're not gonna get those annoying notifications. Mm -hmm. Well, since we do have the beavers, can we have this built? Oh, we don't have the gears. Uh, what's the power supply? Only six hundred. Oh, because they're flooded. Well, that's not great. Now, is it? How much water do we have in here right now? Well, we, I don't think we want more. We just want to... Yeah, it would be great if we could have those three bumps operational as well. That would help us a lot, I'm thinking. So I think the water level is a little bit too high in here. It's starting to overfill and that's something we don't want. We want the water just to sit in here. Okay, so this is the level where we want this water to be. We can either dig out all those bumps use some dynamites and deep in this area or maybe just the end bit start with the end bit first or let's first then uh, see if having those extra bumps in here will will help us a little bit and uh well you look at that we've we've got a few uh spinning there it's gonna take us up a little bit and they, now the only question is how sustainable is this gonna be i think with some fine tuning and observations we'll we'll see how many water dumps versus uh, water bumps we need but but yeah, I think we, we've got some extra power. Well, it's a bit on and off, but I think we'll um, turn on the metal production again. Yeah, that's looking uh, looking good. All right, a few more bumps in there. That should definitely help us uh, help us a little bit. We've got a few more, stor more storages here. So that's good. Means the beavers in the dumps don't have to go as far as long as we keep topping them up. Pretty happy with the, with the progression so far. I think we... 
Oh yeah, we have to solve this power power transfer issue over there. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. Now the next step is really to to see how we can fine tune it. I look forward to your comments about this as well and uh, see if if you have any great ideas. But essentially, um, the next step is going to be to try and produce. I think we're going to need at least thousand five hundred metal. I know it's pretty crazy. Um, and yeah, then we can finish this build and uh, make it look a little bit, a little bit more interesting as well. So thank you very much for joining, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.